I wanted to come back to something you yeah. said about having to go to these dark or challenging places, having to realize that in yourself. Mm-hmm. There's a cliche that all good art, all great art comes mm. from places of brokenness or darkness mm. or fear. And I'd just love to know your take on that, um, especially as an artist of faith. Mm. Can excellent art come from light mm. um, or is it both? Mm. And, and how does that really, how do you think about that through the lens of your own faith? I think mm, I lean more towards a, it's a yes and mm-hmm. where um, they they coexist. Right. So I, I think where, I mean, I think about this cartoon I did, this Archibald's Next Big Thing, which came from a place of me always looking to the next thing and missing where I was and this kind of anxiety of that, but like mixed with the joy of doing it. Mm. Like I just, I did it for four years. It was some of the most exciting, just simple light. Mm. Like this chicken was like in the denim jeans and sweater. <laughs> it was just the role, my role model for like four or five years. Mm-hmm. I just loved him. And every day looking at um, art that's just colorful and pops and wanting to put these messages out of that are based, I don't know if they're based, but real stuff, like not comparing yourself to others and all that kind of stuff, but just joyful, mm-hmm. you know, like, I don't know, just all these different characters that we had created. So I don't know. I think it's, I just don't know if it's just light or just yeah. that. I think it's yeah. they, they're kind of mixed, yeah. you know. My faith, in a very simple way, is everything to me. Mm-hmm. It it um, uh, it frames my life. Knowing somebody is seeing a bigger picture, mm-hmm. knowing God is there is a there is a there is a quilt being, for not to sound there is a quilt being there is a he sees the whole quilt. Yeah, you know, I'm seeing this patch, but he's seeing the entire quilt. Mm-hmm. That I can't, that just gives me such comfort, and it and the the bummer about the picture that faith has been has it's been represented is that it takes away from creativity. It's limiting. It's restricting. Oh my! For me, mm-hmm. it's just it gives me freedom. Mm-hmm. It gives me freedom to feel. It gives yeah. me freedom to go to fearful places. Yeah. It gives me because I there's there's I just mm-hmm. having that trust of knowing that he's got me. Yeah. And he sees a bigger picture. Yeah. It's everything to me. Yeah. It's everything to me. I also love this image of, um, uh, what's his name? Frankie, Frankie Schaefer? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. The whole image, I think it was him, about him showing a picture of a tree and a picture of a cross. Mm-hmm. And people asking, what's the Christian art or what's the religious art? And they immediately go to the cross. And he's like, this is a tree. <laughs> this is literally... Mm-hmm come out of the Mm -hmm. creation and was created by God. This is unbelievably created. There are branches and leaves and berries and fruit coming out of a branch. Right. That's insane. Mm -hmm. You know, how creative is that? But we've just boxed into this. Mm -hmm. And this is such a broader picture of God and art and creativity and expression and truth, you know, Mm -hmm. so. I love that. And I I think Andy Crouch talks about that in one of his chapters about what is being a culture maker Mm. and we're taking those things that God made and we're first appreciating them and then making them into new things. And so Mm. one of the chapters talks about even um, bread and wine are works of art. Mm. And Mm -hmm. so he uses the work of our hands (laughs) as we use the work of his hands to then bring us new life, which is Mm. kind of breaks my brain, but I I've always loved the way he talks about that and, and just to, um, just to frame that as art. I mean, mm-hmm. obviously, yeah. the culinary world is very artistic. But it's like, I don't know, just even a Mac computer. I mean, mm-hmm. just the, the detail. And you're just like, that's wild. Yeah. You know? Really, for sure. Central, Central Park is called the most beautiful piece of art in Manhattan. Mm. Because if you, in an aerial view, if you look at the design and if you look at the bridges and how it's laid out, and it's very simple. Mm. And it's in the midst of this just chaos, but it's just serene. Mm. And they you know it. They they call that the most beautiful art in all of Manhattan, all of the Met, and all that stuff. Mm. I love that.